on this episode of the Commercial Break. If you were truly a trapper of any of kind of this, that ruins the mystique. Yeah, the show's over at that point. It's like, well, I guess there are big feet. <laughs> what good is our show? I guess we can. I guess we don't. We don't need to stick doors out in the middle of the forest anymore. Right. Starting forest fires. If there had once been any kind of legitimate evidence that Bigfoot existed coming from one of these shows. Now I realize there is evidence out there that people have presented about Bigfoot and I'm not, I don't claim to know anything about that, (laughs) about the, I don't claim to know anything about the other people, you yeah. know, who don't have television shows, scientists that are presenting these, this uh, scientists. I don't know what scientists. they are. Scientists. <laughs> I don't claim to know anything about that. What I'm talking about is the show specifically. Yes. If there had been one single iota of proof or imagery that showed this, don't you think they'd be the most famous people yes. in the world? Oh, it would be like major their headlines. Their lives would change. So if I was Huckleberry or Trapper... <laughs> Or Billy the cameraman. <laughs> if I was any of these people, my main objective in life yes. while filming these shows, if I if I literally it's see them every the time, proof. is to get the proof. Yes. That's right. I would have cam- I would have helicopters and drones and I mean I would cut back on a few of the extra people with fake guns and <laughs> yeah. I would just focus Zero in. on the camera part of this, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't need any of those other people yelling yeah. and screaming. Uh, <laughs> The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Yeah, it's a whole episode of The Commercial Break. I'm Brian. This is Chrissy Hoadley. And Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. The best to you out there in the podcast universe. Yes. Welcome to yet another edition of The Commercial Break. They just endlessly keep coming, and we have to endlessly get in here and keep fucking doing them. When will the madness stop? I have no idea. I just read the most fascinating article uh, about Quentin Tarantino and how he will not give his mother a dime of his money that he has made in his film career because his mother doubted him early on. She said, you're fucking writing. What did she say? She said, this writing shit, it's going to stop. You won't be successful. And so now, even though his mom is in like in trouble with the IRS, needs a new house, needs a new car, he's like, fuck you, mom, not giving it to you. Yeah. Which is just insane to me. I cannot imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's, my parents have doubted everything that I have done. <laughs> <laughs> I think my parents doubted. They doubted their reasoning behind having me. But, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter what my parents say about my extraordinary middling podcast career. You kept going. I'm going to keep going. Yeah. I'm going to keep pushing through. Yes. What do you think about that, mom and dad? Mom can't listen. Hi, Brian. <laughs> I've been listening to the show. Have you, Mom? On on which platform? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but it's so good. Uh-huh. It's a lot like my, some of my other friends who I say, they'll say, oh, man, the show's really good. And I'm like, oh, really? What what episode did you listen to? Uh, 312? I'm not. <laughs> we're only on 100. Oh, it must have been 12. Episode 12. Really funny. Really funny shit. What was I talking about? Not sure. <laughs> not really sure, but congratulations on all your success. Hey, do you have Mark Cuban's phone number? Uh-huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, I do not. <laughs> www.tcbpodcast.com is where you go. You can read out more about Chrissy and I, uh, catch up on all the show notes, listen to all the audio, watch all the video, and connect with us on YouTube and Instagram. If you'd like to, youtube.com slash the commercial break. Subscribe. Watch all the episodes from episode number 85. We're doing a scavenger hunt giveaway. Watch all the videos all the way through. Write the hints down, the Easter eggs that you see. Write the clues down. And then when you... Uh, after you after you read all of the clues, and then uh, we'll be asking a question in a couple weeks. If you can answer that question, you'll be entered in to win our next prize, which is something good. Something really good. Because we give away good shit. Yeah, we do. $500 in gold dot gift cards, uh, t-shirts, rare, mm-hmm. hard-to-find mugs from their commercial break. Wine glasses. Wine glasses. The aftermarket for TCB paraphernalia <laughs> is hot. huge. It's hot. Yeah, I just buy my own shit. Yeah. I bid on my own shit. <laughs> That's how you keep it Drive going. Drive up the price. That's right. <laughs> Chrissy and I thought we would get back to to some of the basics here at the commercial break because it's been a while. It's been at least three weeks <laughs> since we've <laughs> talked about river monsters or Alaska yeah. monsters or monster mo- hunting. Monster hunting in general. Yeah. And uh, there's we, a lot of shows dedicated to them. There's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> crappy television out there. Yes. <laughs> and as I have said many times, and I will say this again. 
if you like these shows, then God bless you. There's a lot of people who like the WWE, not my thing, but yeah. a lot of people like the WWE, even though clearly it's for entertainment purposes. Oh, yeah. And I, ha- I must say, after <laughs> watching now hundreds of these episodes of Mountain Men and Mountain Monsters and who, whatever the whatever the fuck <laughs> lock they're called, I do have to say that I am of the belief, 100% convinced that this is all satire. It's <laughs> okay. like a... it's. <laughs> It, just it can't be daring true. Daring you to believe. They're daring you to believe that this is true, <laughs> and quite frankly, I think it's really funny too. Like I think they're doing a great job at, at making a comedy show out of the River Monsters and Monster Hunters. So, Chrissy, I have found a new one to be obsessed with. Oh. It is called Alaska Monsters. Oh. So I'm still into the mountain monsters, right? Mountain yeah. hunter, monster <laughs> men, whatever it is on travel or ID or travel discovery. What I'm not really sure. What that channel <laughs> yes. <it's on>. I, <laughs> I don't want to give them free plug on my show. Uh, but now I've found one called Alaska River I Monster love anything Hunters. Alaska. Yeah. Any of those Alaska shows. Yeah, because you know they're filmed in like Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> filmed in the backwoods of Orlando. <laughs> filmed on lot 35 in Los Angeles. But they find some of the most unruly kind of gentlemen to, to oh, yeah. do these shows, right? Mm-hmm. They are truly. They, they're typecast. They're straight out of casting 101. <laughs> you know, they got the big beards. One of the guys on this particular show, he's got a shark tooth or like a saber tooth that is connected to his <laughs> to his billy goat beard. And uh, it's just it's just good stuff. It's like bra- braided in? It's not even braided in. Okay. It looks like it might be super glued in there. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. When they take them to wardrobe, you probably tape it in there or something. (laughs) You know these guys. Yeah. (laughs) Saber tooth. Yeah. So I I was as I do, deep in the the anals of the internet. Yes. (laughs) Deep in the anals of the internet a couple nights ago, and I decided to start watching episodes of Alaska Mountain Monster Men Hunters, whatever it is. Tip of the hat to you. And best to you. (laughs) Best to you on that. Best to you. And so let's let's take a dive into some of the more outrageous, outlandish monsters that these gentlemen are hunting. Yes. Because if there's one thing that we need in this world, it's a group of unruly West Virginians <laughs> up in Alaska protecting us from certain destruction. Well, somebody's got to do it. From creatures with names <laughs> such as the Otter Man, which, as you can imagine, is simply a man <laughs> with an otter head on. <laughs> with an otter head on it terrorizing uh zone 12 in alaska they've zoned out alaska oh, okay yeah because that's what the first thing you do when you're one of these monster hunters is you zone out your territory you got to know because there's certain zones they stay in certain zones okay like you know uh the death cat might be in zone 12 but otter man is in zone six yeah they know this they have maps you know they they <laughs> they take a vote every three years i'm not even sure it's like redistricting here at the united states uh you know for mm-hmm. congressmen you got to make sure that the otter men and the death cats don't commingle because then you could have a death yeah. otter man. I'm not even <laughs> sure what's going on. But would you like to take a listen I'm... to some of the more prestigious? <laughs> some of the more. I would love to. Okay, here we go. This yeah. is Alaska. Mountain, this is Alaska Mountain Men captured. Whatever they're doing, hunters. Yes, hunters. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> available on one of those cable channels that you don't ever remember. Travel Discovery, I think, is what it's called. Okay. And Otter Man. Let's start with that because I think that's a good that's a good warm up to the rest okay, of Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> like an introduction. Yeah. This is Otter Man. <laughs> Once again, Ooh. the sound guys here really earning their they keep. Are. Yeah. What they do is they mix in a bunch of sound effects so you can't tell what's on camera or not. Right? You're like, oh, was that the was that the Otter Man? Could be. I don't know. They never really explain it. We're in zone 10, known as the Valley of the Lost Gold, and we're going after the Otter Man. This creature was first seen 800 years ago and was known to the native Alaskans as the Kushtaka. Legend has it this I think that's made of the Kushtaka. <laughs> Kustaka. Kustaka. <laughs> and you turned it into Otter Man? Where did you get Otter Man from that? By the way, with such calm do these guys talk about the Otter Man that is a certain death machine that they're about to go yeah. stalk in zone number 10 of the bush of Alaska. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to go uh, hunt the otter, man. What are you doing today? Oh, I'm going to go to the grocery store and hunt some otter, man. Check. Check. <laughs> Creature can shape shift, and it can change into any form it pleases. Yeah, this is pretty spooky. Yeah, you can tell something came right through here. Not sure what it is. That <laughs> it was probably the cameras <laughs> that, are, that have a front angle and a back angle from you. It's 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. It was probably the uh, food trucks that you have there to feed the rest of the staff. Help. What's that? We got movement. Hey, movement. Movement. We got movement over here. What do you got? Got movement. We got movement. There's something right here. Oh, something right Oh. Oh, we in. Get out of here. Get how was that? Somebody's shooting. Whoa, whoa, They're whoa, shooting. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so for those of you listening that can't make out what's going on, neither can you when you're actually watching the show either because it's just a lot of confusion. Wow. Cameraman, sh- you know, Sound shaking like everything everywhere. there was like everywhere. a snowball effect, an avalanche. Something was happening. Something was happening. It, that was a 600-pound mountain man running, <laughs> run, chasing the otter man across the water. What happened here is that one of the gentlemen fell in the water, which he's oh. now going to claim he was grabbed and, and pulled into the water. Of course, the camera didn't catch any of this. Even though they have night vision technology, he didn't catch anything. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I meant to catch it, you know. You guys run so fast and everything. I don't know what happened. But did you But did you hear there were gunshots? That's what yes. they said. We began shooting. I didn't hear any gunshots. And if I did hear gunshots, they sounded awful fake. Yeah, they sounded really fake. Uh, kind of like. <laughs> did you hear that? They're shooting at us. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, in any real life situation where you're being shot at, the adrenaline's high. You're going to get the hell out of the way. You're going to get the hell out of wherever you are, right? Yeah. I don't care. All these guys are carrying guns, but clearly they're like, you know, you can buy these at Toys R Us. They're not carrying real <laughs> guns. And I think they don't want to actually start. My question was, if you're carrying a bunch of guns in all of these shows and you're Imminent death is about to happen. Yeah. You've got Bigfoot, Otter Man, Death Cat, you know, Whisper Wolves, Wandering t- 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 Tortosaurus Rex or whatever they are. <laughs> yes. Don't you think you would just start shooting yes, at them? Like if they're sure. that close coming for after you? Sure. If you get pulled in the water by something, aren't the first, isn't the first thing you're going to do is use your gun to shoot it? So then you could have ir- ir- uh, irrevocable proof yeah. that you actually caught the Otter Man. Right. But no, these guys are clear pacifists. They don't mm. want to shoot anything. They just want to... Pretend like they saw the Otter Man. So even though there are 7 to 12 cameras around, they're all mic'd up and they have guns in their hands. They didn't get a photo of it. They didn't hear it once. There was shooting going on that sounded like this. (laughs) (laughs) And there's still no proof that Otter Man even exists. So close. Let's listen as they wrap up the whole, (laughs) what happened here? What happened? What happened? Damn! What happened, man? Come on! Come on, get back. Get away from the water. Come on. Get away, get away. Something grabbed him. Get away from the water. That's where all the shooting's happening. <laughs> Quick, if you're in the water, a bolt's going to find you. <laughs> get out of the water. Get the fuck out of the... What are you talking about? Get out of the water. Yeah, just Someone's gonna... shooting at you. Leave. Everyone run. Why are we stopping to talk to the camera? It's like the, the real wow. world. Downtown Chicago. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. Oh, Something grabbed my foot. Did you see it? Oh. Oh, look over here. Some, I pulled something to grab her around my head. It pulled my leg. It pulled me in the water. We come across the edge of the pond, and we heard something splash, and I saw some movement. Red and I hauled ass over here to see it, and I was looking. Something reached up and grabbed my leg, pulled me into the freaking pond. It scared the out of me. You got a copy? Scared the shit out of you? Yeah. That's all you got to say is it scared the shit out of you? Yeah. A seven foot ten. <laughs> Shapeshifter. Shapeshifting. <laughs> Otter creature, <laughs> man with an otter head, pulled you into the water, and all you yeah. got to say, scared shit out of me. Well, I'm I don't know. Down by the creek, went right in. <laughs> Couldn't get a picture of it. Didn't see it. Have no idea what it was. But I'm pretty sure it's the otter man. <laughs> I've been living in Alaska for a long time. I've never been pulled in the water by anything. This is a uh, otter man, clearly, because we're in zone number ten, and that's where the otter men live, as right. you understand. And they were shooting at us. <laughs> get down! Everybody, get down! <laughs> Cartoon bullets coming our way. What? We just got a couple shots out. We don't know what it is. We need some backup. Copy. We're headed that way. Let's get the hell out of here. Copy. Copy that. (laughs) Copy that. (laughs) Copy that. We're coming right to the gunfire and otter man area. (laughs) Wait, hold on. I've got an idea. Just throwing this out there, guys. Why, if there's gunfire and the otter man is trying to kill Bob, why don't y'all just come this way? (laughs) Nope. Let's get away from the water. Yeah, here we are. Here What's we going are. on, man? Here, we are. here comes the cavalry. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. <laughs> we, got, we got our guns. Are those people pulling up? I know. They're pulling up in the <laughs> go-kart. 
<laughs> Here we are. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We're just filming a couple scenes over Billy here. Billy fell in the yeah. creek. <laughs> Billy fell in the creek, and then Craft Services couldn't find any more cheese for the Philly cheesesteaks. It was a real nightmare. Luckily, Target's about a mile down the road if y'all want to go over there. Man, what'd you say? Man, what was that? oh man. Someone pulled me in. I'm soaking wet. No, f- brother. Man. I heard a splash or something. Saw some movement. Me and Rat hauled ass over there. What'd it look like? I, I don't know. Oh, I was standing on the edge. Something come up and reached two hands, felt two hands come around both sides of my leg and just snatched my ass. No, just like that. I was bent down, and by the time he went in the water and the shots went off, I couldn't even get over there. Man, it was just that Whoa. quick. Man, I don't know what happened here. I've been. It all happened Whoa. in five to 12 minutes. <laughs> It all happened in six takes. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Do you see it? No. Let's let's walk through this scenario for just a second. You and me were out there walking well, along an Alaska lake in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, <laughs> something grabs us by, grabs you by the ankle, pulls you in the water. Uh-huh. Then, additionally, shots are fired. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so not only has something come out of the water and pulled you into the water. In the middle of the night on the, mm-hmm. near the Alaska Lake in zone number 10 where the outer man lives. Yeah. But now someone's shooting at you. Mm-hmm. Clearly, the next n- rational step is let's bring everybody closer to the gunfire so that then we can all have a big roundtable discussion <laughs> <laughs> about it. Right. No, that's and, logical. Yeah. Let's not call the police. Let's no. not worry about any scientists. Well, the cavalry's or, yeah, on the, the way. The cavalry's on the way. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> what happened? Did you get it? Did, did you, you get it on? It? No. No. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I thought the camera was on. <laughs> it said it was on. <laughs> Billy, is that even a real camera? I don't know. Bought it at Toys R Us. Looked real to me. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean so. We're talking about Billy the cameraman who inevitably follows all these guys around. Who, even though every single episode of every single monster show that has ever existed, including the Ghost Hunter shows, they find what they're looking yes. for. They find the ghost. They, they find do. the Bigfoot. They find the monster. Every single episode. They're there. They're getting touched by it. They're getting, you know, pulled away in bushes. Yeah. And they find their homes and their nests and their yes. trees. And <laughs> the ghosts are moving things around the house and uh-huh. talking to them in weird languages. But Billy the cameraman can never seem to quite get it on tape. He's always pointed in the wrong direction yeah, for some reason. Yeah, usually at the ground while he's running. He was scary. I'm telling you. What. Was scared when I was. saw someone get pulled in the water, I ran in the opposite direction. Billy might be the only guy who has common sense. I think the cameraman might be the only guy with common sense because he runs in the opposite direction. These morons are standing there having a conversation about it. And if the otter man is truly in the water, like at 15 feet from you, aren't you still scared? Yeah. Not these guys. No. These guys got brass They're balls tough. of steel. That's He's got right. a saber tooth in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Protected. Yeah, don't worry about me. I got this saber tooth <laughs> from a real death cat. I skinned a death cat when I was 13 years old. Me and that death cat, <laughs> we got a personal vendetta. <laughs> Water in these woods for 40 years. There is no animal in Alaska that can reach out of the water and pull you right in the water like that. Are you sure you're okay? Wait, there's no animal in Alaska? Not like a polar bear? Not like not like a Kodiak bear? Yeah, it seems there's like There's lots something. of things in yeah. Alaska that can pull you in the water like that. The question is, what exactly pulled you in the water and left your leg completely unscathed? Right. Like, did the otter man with his incredible strength pull you in the water? Nothing's broken. No sprains. He's not hurt. I guess it was just a friendly... It was a... <laughs> Uh, lonely <laughs> a cute man nice jeans are those levi's mm, come give out a man hug it was a love pull it was a love pull it was you a know. tug on the yeah, yeah. A little tug on the kneecap hey, hey, yeah look at me hey it's otter man just wanted to <laughs> they told me they'd pay me 500 dollars for making an appearance <laughs> where's my check but a union mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on with the on with the hunting. Now we've yeah. now we got the flavor of what's going on here. We're talking about Alaska and these uh, these certain monsters that are coming out of the Alaskan woods and certain right. and zones because mm-hmm. you know all the monsters have their own zone, yeah. like zone twelve and zone sixteen B. <laughs> It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It's like the Whisper Wolves who were behind the, the we did an episode a couple of, about a month and a half ago. We were talking about the Whisper Wolves of West Virginia or Kentucky or wherever they were. Mm-hmm. And the Whisper Wolves were only behind a sign that said, warning, Whisper Wolves. 
<laughs> because the Whisper Wolves, you know, they're uh, they know even though they'll, place. they'll kill you, right? They know their place. They're trained well. They stay yeah. in their little area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't worry about those Whisper Wolves. They aren't going anywhere. <laughs> uh, are you ready for one that's really funny? Yes. Okay, here it is. They are cha- they are chasing the West. This we're going back down into the states. Okay, and now we're going for the West Virginia Yahoo. Okay. West Virginia Yahoo. Uh-huh. That's what it's called. West Virginia Yahoo. West Virginia Yahoo. <laughs> that Yahoo species is I think that's crazy. Mitch McConnell. Isn't that Mitch McConnell? <laughs> the West Virginia Yahoo? Or is that different? <laughs> oh, he's from Kentucky. We're going after West Virginia's Bigfoot tonight, the Yahoo. Up the holler where we was at, we was hearing all kinds of different noises. All that thumping around. Remember that rock was on the come clear down into the creek where we sat. Oh. Nah, that's just two teenagers making out. <laughs> <laughs> We're over on the air of the holler. What is the holler? <laughs> you, you're, you're Southern. What's a holler? Mm, a field, maybe? A field? I no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a cave. I think it's a cave. Okay. Because like when you holler, it hollers back at you. Oh, okay. Eh, that's my guess. What do I fucking know? <laughs> don't listen to anything I say, because I don't know. They're right. Because, whoa. Oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. oh, my God. Boys, the hunt started. That was close. That was real close. We just heard the Yahoo scream. It's more powerful than I ever imagined. It <laughs> shook my chest. That was definitely oh, human. Man. Squall, wasn't it? <laughs> Primely. Man, that Yahoo, it sounded like a locomotive when it let that big old squall out. Man, that thing sounded like Jewel on her second album. <laughs> Yahoo. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. How clearly this is some production assistant on the side. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like that chest. guy. Yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> there he is. The elusive Yahoo with his email address from 1997. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Probably gonna get sued for that, by the way. <laughs> You're the living daylights out of me. Jip, you got anything in that thermal? I don't got anything on it, but I'm telling you what. Yahoo scream is shocking. We just heard it. It's terrifying. That have to clear the woods of every critter within a half mile of it. We're hearing noises all over the place. We know the Yahoo's here. We got to creep in. We got to go after him. Easy, easy, easy. Settle down, settle down. <laughs> <Easy>. Yahoo! <laughs> here it comes. I love you, I love you. There he is, the West Virginia yodeler. <laughs> it's so stupid. Easy, boys. Easy, be careful. <laughs> you don't want to get out of microphone range. Stay on script, boys. Keep an eye on that thermal, Jeff. I am. That thing sounded like it was right there in front of us. Come on down here. Get you some of this. It's up at the top of the hill. Get you some of this. this. (laughs) Six hundred pounds of Mountain Dew, Diet Coke drinking, pizza licking, Dorito (laughs) finger, West Virginian. Look out, boys! (laughs) Get you some of this. (laughs) It's a fucking bigfoot. (laughs) (laughs) When someone says that. You know they mean they mean business. You know it's time. I'm to gonna get go home to Jeff it's tonight. Time. Man. Get you some get of this. Get you some of this, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeff's response. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 when someone says, "Come get you some of this," it's time to take an Uber home. You've had too much. <laughs> If you're ever at a bar and your friend says to someone other unknown human being, "Come get you some of this." <laughs> You call it over right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the time to go home. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Billy when you need him? Oh, Billy. Come get you some of this. <laughs> this show could not. I mean, it is daring us to laugh at it. It is daring us to laugh at it. This is like Spinal Tap. These guys are yeah. really like genius comedy creators yeah. is what they are. And we're all, and you know, there's just too many people taking it way too seriously. I, I can't believe anybody at home actually after a couple episodes thinks this is real. No. Like clearly you don't think this is real. Like they're actually <laughs> out there with a ya- uh, West Virginia Yahoo. They leave it kind of open-ended though. Like maybe, maybe. Well, it's kind of like the hills. Remember the, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> remember the hills, right? Where we didn't know until the last scene yeah. whether or not it was being it was uh, scripted. That's true. Yeah, and then we found out yeah. it was indeed uh, scripted. Yes, <laughs> it's so disappointing. <laughs> no LCY. <laughs> I thought you loved Jason. 
<laughs> He's got us pinned down in this ravine, guys. We need to get up on level ground. We just heard the Yahoo scream. We're hearing noises all around us. We got to get to higher ground now. Let's get out of here. Let's move up. What could all those noises be? Couldn't be the cameraman or the lighting guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're silent. Where's he at, Jeff? Right ahead of us on the left. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can you see? We ain't see nothing. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Right there. Right, right there. ahead of us. Right there. Got him, Jeff? Uh -huh, yeah, I got him. I got him. 70 yards to the forward. Let's go. By the way, for those of you listening who, who may be saying, well, God, Brian, like, you know, I can't even see it. Yeah, but don't worry, because if you were watching it, you couldn't see anything either. They're just shaking the camera around a lot. In the dark. I know. Go and get you some of this. <laughs> Look through the thermal camera. The thermal camera. It's it's like a toy that you that your kid buys. It's like a kaleidoscope, you yeah. know, in the thermal camera. There's an image of it. You know, you might be seeing something 30 yards away. It's so stupid. Yahoo! Here it comes, boys. It's getting ready. We better get on level ground. Like you're like you're at a I don't know, like you're part of the army rangers or something. We better get on level ground. It's gonna be a fight. We're pinned down. Pinned down. Two episodes ago, you're making friends with the Otter Man. Now all of a sudden, you're yeah. worried about yeah. about what's going to happen with the Bigfoot Yahoo. <laughs> Maybe he just wants to sing to you a little bit. I just seen it right there. Something just went. Is that an eye? There's an eye, Bill. I don't see anything. See that eye? Right there. Oh, oh, oh yeah, got one behind us. Oops. Here we go, boys. Check the rear. How you got, Jeff? You got a thermal behind us? He just yelled behind us. I don't see anything. <laughs> I can hear that. <laughs> yoo, yoo! There he is, boys! <laughs> We're all gonna yeah. die! <laughs> yoo, yoo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> this what? is the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I've heard in a while. This is it. Just cause mass chaos and have someone yell yeah, from time to time. Yeah, and it's also amazing too that nobody gets killed or hurt on any of no, these. No, please, totally. <laughs> these are, I mean, they tell you at the beginning of the show: do not try this at home. <laughs> Certain death awaits that would mean them. when you're chasing the death cat. I know, but you know well, that wouldn't make any sense. No, maybe they should kill off a character. They or two. should, yeah, just like to make Breaking it real. Bad. Yeah, yeah just so just you to make it real. It, right. <laughs> At least have a deep scratch on someone. Yeah, some no one ever gets hurt. Someone literally got pulled in the water by Otter Man, and nothing happened. Not a thing. Mm -mm. The guy didn't even have hypothermia. I'm thinking that same thing. It's yeah, Alaska and yeah. it's water. Yeah, yeah. No, not these guys because they're not in Alaska. The, oh, okay. Like I told you, they're taping in you know Valdosta, Georgia, in the like, holler. Like, yeah, in the holler near the creek. And back on the other side, there's more than one, guys. We knew there was more than one Yahoo. <laughs> when they started working together, it was there just overwhelming. more than one Yahoo. Yahoo. He said Yahoo. <laughs> he said Yahoo. <laughs> we knew there was more than one Yahoo. <laughs> more than it's one. this group. Yeah. <laughs> There's seven of them. <laughs> the cameras are all pointed at them. <laughs> Meanwhile, I bet they all still have Yahoo email addresses. Yes. There's two. There's definitely two. We're surrounded. Let's just move forward. We'll see if that one behind us keeps following. We're going to move right through here. Sounds good. We use our own bodies as bait. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> Don't worry see about it. See if that one follows us. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a Philly cheesesteak <laughs> on the back of my head. And we'll see if he can smell it from over yonder. Let's take Billy the camera boy and string him up by his legs. <laughs> see if the West Virginia Yahoo can get a hold of him. Oh, guys, I don't think that's such a great idea. <laughs> this is this is just awesome. I love it. I just love watching yeah. these shows. I just think it's so funny. You know how much fun I have here late at night in the studio when I'm watching oh these shows? God. I just am laughing so hard because it's... Ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Let's swing right through here. We'll try to get him back around this way. I think the trap's way down to the left. Close. Right there, That's close. 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 Right close. Right in front of you, Trapper. Close, 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 close. close, close. close. Right there, right right there it is. It's another nest. Round up. <laughs> Where? Nest? Where, guys? <laughs> is that a nest? It's a nest. Oh, it's a nest. The Yahoo's nest. Yeah. By the way, these guys are all in. They've now made the, 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 the distinction that the Bigfoot uh, makes a nest. Mm. And those nests are made by a bunch of trees 
that fall over on each other, right? So the oh, Yahoo, okay. he, he takes down trees and then he piles up a bunch of trees on top of them. And that's where he, I guess he <laughs> has his little Bigfoot eggs. I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's a Bigfoot nest right there. <laughs> I don't know what could have done this. I don't know. <laughs> Chainsaw and a couple of tractors? I'm not sure. I don't see any tracks around. Meanwhile, there's clearly tracks around everywhere. I don't know. I've been doing this a long time, and I've never seen anything like it. Okay, wait. Cut. Can I do that over again? I want to do a little more. I've never seen anything like it. Come get you some of this. We have a friend who works for Fireside, by the way. Yes. Who told me that she... uh she was in a lot of pitch meetings where these these people would come in, right? And so uh, I don't want to say names or anything like that. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But <laughs> they would come in and they'd be like, yes, I can telepathically communicate with Bigfoot. And I have a show idea about it. <laughs> and she would be like, where are these fucking morons? Oh, <laughs> Who are these people? Yeah. They would come in with all of the gusto that they could in sincerity to pitch these meetings about, you know, I can really track Bigfoot and I can do yeah. all of this. But the those people didn't get a show. It's the actors. Only who got the a show. crop, the cream of the crop. Yeah. Rose. That's right. Oh. These guys. <laughs> Only the middling Hollywood writer types got in on this. By the way, I'm sure that this show is completely scripted and written. If we went back and we looked at the uh, credits on this, yeah. right? There has to be writer a credits writer. somewhere. There has to be. That's how you knew the hills was fake. You looked at the writer credits. Mm-hmm. And we're like, wait, they need a writer on the hills? Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay, what do you think? You want to talk about the death cat? Sure. Okay, the let's death get cat. the death cat. <laughs> this one's scary, guys. Uh-oh. Buckle in. Do a little warning. Disclaimer. Yeah. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any kind of heart condition, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, God. Thundercats, ho! Guys, <laughs> what, what? There's a fire in there. What? There's a fire inside that house. We're in Cherokee County, North Carolina, and we just came up on that old barn that we've been trying to get to. We need to check it out. We need to check it out. Let's be careful. Go easy, Bob. Go easy. There's an old creepy barn with no <laughs> lights on. It hasn't been touched in years, and now it's on fire. <laughs> we got to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> At night. No regard for anybody's safety no. whatsoever. No consideration. If I'm, listen, okay. And if any part of this is real, then I got to say these guys have bigger cojones than I do because yeah. I'm not going into any old barn that just got set on fire. No. These guys are a fucking moron. Like, <laughs> let me show up at the place that's yeah. been scaring the shit out of kids since 1922. We need to work around and get inside. I love how the music crescendos and then it to nothing. It's yeah. like, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> don't really have anything interesting to tell you. Just want to get you excited. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't really get that footage you were looking for. <laughs> but look, I got some footage of me going through the McDonald's drive thru <laughs> You want that? <laughs> I got an extra, I got an extra small fry. I didn't even order it. <laughs> How's that? Is that scary? No? Okay. I got someone else's order. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to make sure everything was all set up, but it didn't really work. Uh, I guess I had to go back to school. What the hell? Dad, going? What is this? Holy. <laughs> we work around to the front of this barn to the opening, and it's absolutely shocking. There's grapevine hanging all over the place. Who set the fire? There's a fire built right in the middle. Behind it is a door that looks like it grew out of the ground. <laughs> a door looks like it grew out a of the ground. A door looks like it grew out of the ground. It is, by the way. In case you, see, I'm gonna let me let me let me share with you what's going on. Yes, please do. Be it's our eyes. Like a farm. It's like a farmhouse, uh-huh. right? One story farmhouse, and the farmhouse is completely empty in the middle. Only the side walls exist. The side walls, and then the rafters of the ceiling. Okay. Right? Now there is old dead grapevine. Dra- you know, dragged across the the top of the ceiling, uh-huh. and then there is a campfire. Not a, like it's on fire. It's like an actual campfire, oh. a neatly made campfire. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, like like Boy Scout made, right? It's just yeah. as neat as it can be with the stones around it. Clearly, they're adhering to some kind of fire marshal requirements, right? right? Like they, yeah. stones around it. There's a trench they dug and everything. Safe. They were being safe. Whoever the Whisper Wolf or Death Cat or whatever. <laughs> I don't want to start no forest fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> Smokey the bear, clearly clearly there to supervise the death cat. And then there is a door that is just in the middle of this whole thing. Yeah. It's a door, and it's got a picture. Remember the Thundercats logo? Yes. You remember the Thundercat, the cartoon, yes. the logo? Thunder, okay. thunder, the thunder, 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 Okay, now same thing, right? <laughs> Thundercat logo. Exact same thing as the Thundercat logo, except for like one of the teeth is different. <laughs> is what they did is they just took the Thundercat logo and they painted it. It, very neatly and nicely as like a real logo on the middle of the door but with, it's red and okay. dark red and then a little dripping down to make it look <laughs> like blood right so I mean wow. yeah they don't exactly have the cream of the crop <laughs> as far as the set guys are working here okay you know what's gonna be real scary an actual campfire <laughs> right. like an action like it's a fire set, set by some death cat don't you think it would just be like a wild crazy fire it going would, on yes. yeah no these guys are this is to keep these guys warm <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. It's not connected to anything. No walls, nothing. Look at that symbol. It's like the other half of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my paycheck. It's not connected to anything. <laughs> it's like a podcaster's paycheck. It's not connected to anything. <laughs> <laughs> Most well-paid podcaster this side of my own street. Is that the death cat? I think it is. What does all this mean? I don't know, but I won't find out. Be careful in there. Look at all these vines. I don't understand this. Guys. Yeah. Come here. Guys, come here. <laughs> I think I found the death cat. <laughs> He's seven foot tall with blood dripping down his fangs. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on with me. <laughs> if that doesn't tip you off, I don't know what does. Yeah. Yo, come here. What? Come here. Come, come here. here. Look here. What the? Hoadley, there's a serial killer running around Atlanta. I found him. Come, come here. here. <laughs> what the? Take your shirt off and come here. <laughs> Uh, put your gun down and come on over uh, exactly. here. <laughs> Take that mace out of your purse. Come on. Is that the one who's following? It looks like her. She's watching something. Hello? We're about ready to go inside that barn. Huckleberry looks over and spots a little girl out in that soybean field. You think she's okay? What's she doing out here? What do we do? We try to get to her? All right. She's trying to catch a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is where it all goes off the rails for me, right? Okay. I mean, listen, the Thundercat logo clearly was a, uh, you know, yeah. no Thundercat is doing any kind of painting like that, right? Or whatever they think it is. Like the, yeah. I don't know, somebody out there trying to scare people. But then there's a girl out in the soybean <laughs> foil, so, uh, field, and then she's got like a nightgown on, right? And then her hand is sticking out. One, her left hand is sticking out. All you can see is the back of her head. Her left hand is sticking out, and there's blood dripping off of her hand. Oh, my God. Right? And this guy is like, hey, <laughs> are you okay? Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's all just so wonder. It's all so wonderfully yeah. satirical. Let's go towards her see what happens. Hello? Hello. 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 Hello, little bleeding girl out in the field. Is there anything wrong with you? <laughs> Nod your head once for no and twice for yes. I've got a camera crew here. We've got an ambulance on standby. Craft services, really good food. Yep. Hey, do you mind telling me what all this fire's about up here? <laughs> nope, she doesn't talk either. No. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? What was that? Yeah, that was over this way. Yeah. Ooh, damn. Uh, she's she's taking off. She's taking off. Where's she go? Where's she right go? Up, guys. I'll go there. You take this. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's split up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this situation you go that calls. Way. Yeah. <laughs> this situation calls for splitting up. Yes. <laughs> that way, the death cat, if he gets a hold of us. We won't be able to defend ourselves. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll go chase that little girl out in the cornfield. That right. won't scare her or anything. Don't worry about it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? We just heard a noise around the side of the barn. Me and Jeff's going to go try to check on that little girl. Where's she going? And Huck's going to go check out that noise. Where's she, wow. <laughs> Where's she going? Where's she going? Where's she going? 
<laughs> She's going to wardrobe. She's got to change for the next scene. Oh, God. Uh, she's got to make an appearance on Dance Moms later on this week. <laughs> she's on the Seven Little Johnstons. Why is there a little girl out here in the middle of the night? Hello? <laughs> nice and easy, Jeff. Nice and easy, buddy. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> hey, little girl, you want some of this? <laughs> what did he say? Can come I and get some, some of this. this. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to fight you, you little girl. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Are you okay? We talked to you? Listen, his voice sounds creepy in the first place. Like, if somebody was asking me that, like, if I had been hit by a car and someone was like, hey, (laughs) you okay? Can we talk to you for a bit? (laughs) I'd be like, no, just let me die. (laughs) Do not (laughs) render first aid. (laughs) What the hell was that noise? Right out back here. What was that noise? It was the sound guy. <laughs> the hell's up there? Jeff, I don't know about this, dude. I don't know about this. Stop, 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 stop. She's moving. Oh, boy. What's she pointing at? I don't know. Dude, is that blood? That's blood. We need to try to help her, Jeff. Are you okay? What's she pointing at? She's pointing at her trailer. <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. I want to go take a nap. <laughs> Child labor laws. Was this on camera? It's on camera, but you have to understand. <laughs> is that the entire show is filmed as if it's night vision goggles. When right, it's clearly right. not. There are lots of, there's lots of light and everything. I mean, everything is, you know, weirdly black and white almost, right? Yeah. The gray, like this weird purplish gray color. Right. And there is a girl that, that they're being filmed. Again, she's from behind. She's in a nightgown. Yeah. And then she just sticks her hand up is pointing like at something. Like the Poltergeist girl? Yeah. Like, yeah. And remember the girl on the TV that like twisted right. her head on that one movie or yes. whatever it was? Yeah. The Ring? Okay. No, Exor- The Exorcist? No, it was called The Ring. It was like oh, later okay. on. Yeah. And, you know, she walked through the TV like all weird uh, and stuff right. like that. She goes, That's some fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's all a bunch of Shit. It's so fake, it's not even funny. Yeah. I just imagine someone at home like, holy shit, they I really got do. themselves in trouble now. <laughs> How are they gonna get, How out you get out of this, boys? <laughs> hey, honey! Seriously, this time they're really in trouble. Yeah, right, Jack! Take out the trash, or you're really in trouble! <laughs> but honey! It's live. They've got the death cat. They've got the death cat. <laughs> and now they found some little girl. Shut up. Do the dishes. You bastard. You lazy fuck. <laughs> One more warning. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> it's not going to matter because the death cat's going to kill us all. Um, I just imagine that there are people somewhere, yes, somewhere that believe for this. Sure, yes. And if they do, God bless them. You know, it's mm-hmm. like there's lots of people that believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually under five. <laughs> but, Yes. Well, but you know, yeah. <laughs> but listen, to each their own. If they believe that you know the Thundercats <laughs> exist, and they believe it's certainly Thundercats. entertaining. That it is. <laughs> when you look at it in this context, it's entertaining. Mm. Like if I was to take this with any degree of seriousness, which I did for most of my life, I didn't give it one bit of thought. I just never watched these shows. Right. But then when I realized. <laughs> When I started doing the commercial break and we started thinking about, you know, all the, the absurd things that we could mm-hmm. talk about on this show. Yeah. This came into mind, came to mind because I had for one second turned it on one time and yeah. been like, oh, come on, please. <laughs> right. When you get into it, it's this well choreographed uh, sound effects. Is, yeah. Visuals. <laughs> it's a dance that they're doing with yes. the camera. <laughs> who can, yeah. who can I, not I, film it? I mean, who's named Huckleberry? <laughs> The other guy's named Trapper, and he just so happens to be the Trapper of Bigfoot. My mom named me after Trapper Sr. He died in a horrible Whisper Wolf trapping accident. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, my favorite part about all of this, my favorite part, and I'll remind you as I have on other shows regarding these topics, <laughs> is that never... Not once has any of this been caught on camera. No, not no. once. That ruins the mystique. If you were truly a trapper of any of kind of this, <laughs> that ruins the mystique. Yeah, the show's over at that point. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess there are big feet. <laughs> what good is our show? I guess we can. I guess we don't. We don't need to stick doors out in the middle of the forest anymore. <laughs> Starting forest fires. If 
there had once been any kind of legitimate evidence that Bigfoot existed coming from one of these shows. Now, I realize there is evidence out there that people have presented about Bigfoot, and I'm not, I don't claim to know anything about that, (laughs) about the... I don't claim to know anything about the other people, you yeah. know, who don't have television shows, scientists that are presenting these, this uh, scientists. I don't know what scientists. they are. Scientists. <laughs> I don't claim to know anything about that. What I'm talking about is the show specifically. Yes. If there had been one single iota of proof or imagery that showed this, don't you think they'd be the most famous people yes. in the world? Oh, it would be like, major their headlines. Their lives would change. So if I was Huckleberry or Trapper... <laughs> Or Billy the cameraman. <laughs> if I was any of these people, my main objective in life yes. while filming these shows, if I if I literally it's see them every the time, proof. is to get the proof. Yes. That's right. I would have cam- I would have helicopters and drones and I mean I would cut back on a few of the extra people with fake guns and <laughs> yeah. I would just focus Zero in. on the camera part of this, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't need any of those other people yelling yeah. and screaming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yip, yip, yip. Get you some of get, this. Get you get some you. of this. <laughs> hey, come get you some of this. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Bigfoot just takes his hand and rips his head off, clean off his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's> well, <laughs> Huckleberry's dead. I guess R. that. R.I.P. Huckleberry. R.I.P. <laughs> now we look back on some of the better. <laughs> now we look back on some of the moments from Huckleberry. <laughs> yep, yep. Careful, boys, careful. He got me. I'm in the water. Uh, Huckleberry. (laughs) He dared to dream. He did. He He dared to dream. He put himself in the He flew too close to the sun. (laughs) (laughs) Or in this case, Bigfoot. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's too much fun. It really is. I love you. I love you. you. Listen, I've got five more clips. Of course, we never get through them. Yeah. We never get through any of them because we're always <laughs> <laughs> laughing because we're always too stupid <laughs> ourselves. Uh, but we'll do another episode. We'll do another episode yes. because uh, that's the way that we These do it. If we good. run over, we'll go do another episode. Okay. All right. Too good. Too much fun. The Olympics are over. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. It sucks. Yeah, now but it- but the next Olympics are six months away. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> That is true. Mm-hmm. That is true. The 2021 Olympics the now, 2020 Olympics now playing in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. The winter uh, ones are coming up in February. I think it's February. February. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. In 2022? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. Wow. But no one cares about the winter Olympics. Oh, I love the winter ones. I, I, I like the uh, the one where they do the, the sliding of the, mm-hmm. the rocks. What is that called? Yeah. What's the sliding of the, <laughs> <laughs> the sliding of the rocks? You know, I like them all. Oh, um, I don't know what it's yeah. called. Whatever. I like that. That's what I like. <laughs> I like the Olympics because I like watching all of the odd sports. And yes. it gives you a lot of, it, you can kill a ton of fucking time just <laughs> watching all of these weird sports, right? Yeah. And uh, now I got nothing to watch. Now I got to go back to, I don't know. Netflix. Now I got to go back to Whisper Wolves. <laughs> the, the Monster yeah. Hunters. Now I got to go to my, back to Monster Hunters. <laughs> I spent way too much time on the internet. Wait till you hear what I have. I got rap battles. I got all kind of stuff coming up in the future. Oh, good. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> So, yeah, but I just thought I'd mention that the Olympics is over. And and America did win the gold medal count by one. That's right, they did. By one. Yeah. Yeah, which w- wasn't a particularly strong year for the Mm-mm. for the Americans. It was a weird year. You, th- you think? <laughs> <laughs> Come get you some of this 2020. <laughs> <laughs> TCB podcast now available on Fireside. We will be recording live on Fireside once or twice. We're actually doing it right now. We're yes, recording we live on Fireside. But we're not inviting the audience quite yet because we want to make sure we can get the technical aspect yeah. of this right. Maybe we'll answer some questions after we get done recording. But because yes. it is, uh, it's taken us a long time to get the all the... It's taken me this a long time to figure out... This one part of the cord. Yeah, it's taken, <laughs> this one cord. <laughs> It's taken a long time it's to figure out this one cord. Coming. That's yeah. right. It's kind of like Big Journey. Cord. It's been an elusive cord to figure out. I just you had did to, it. Yeah. And then the guy from Fireside got on, and in one second he diagnosed it. <laughs> we spent weeks trying to fix that problem, and in one second he diagnosed it. He's like, well, do you have the right cord? And I'm like, yes. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Thought so. What kind of cord is that? You tell me what kind of cord it is. First, I want to make sure you know about it first. <laughs> nice. I want to thank Rich from Fireside for helping yeah. out, but I'm, that's how it was. He was like, "Well, do you have the right cord?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I do. Name, 
You tell, tell me, me the name of the court. I want to make sure you know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then he's like, t- he's like, let's say it at the same time. And I'm like, T R R R R R R S K V. He's like, nope, wrong court. And shit, damn. Yeah. I thought I had the right court, mm-hmm. but I didn't. But anyway, now it's working. Now it's and working. there you go. On Fireside, so do us a favor and download the Fireside app. And then we'll let you know on Instagram when we're going to go live. You know, maybe like a day before we're going to go live. We'll tell you the yeah. day and the time and all that good stuff. Go to tcbpodcast.com. You can find out more about Chrissy and I. Read all the show notes. Listen to all the audio. Watch all the video all from one place. No reason to go anywhere else. But if you choose... You can go to youtube.com slash the commercial break or at the commercial break on Instagram. If you'd like to be a part of our next giveaway, I was going to I was going to say the prize, but I'm not going to say the prize yet. Yeah. Go to YouTube, subscribe, watch from episode number 85 on, watch all the way through, write the Easter eggs or the clues that you see throughout the episode, write them down. You'll be able to answer the question when I ask it in a couple weeks from now, and you'll be entered in to win the next prize, which we'll tell you about when the time comes. We like to keep it a secret. Yeah. It's a night with the death cat. That's a good, that's a good yeah. one. It's a taping of yeah, we're gonna, monsters. It's like, oh, my God. Monster wouldn't that be Hunter. awesome? Yeah. I wish I could, You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make an effort to get one of these guys on the program. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're going to see how far they take this. Huckleberry. He seems like a nice guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when he's not busy putting his life, <laughs> putting his <laughs> life do. in the That's a great idea. Strangers. That is a good idea. Yeah. And you know what? For Something tells me that they're probably available <laughs> <laughs> yes. to record this podcast. Yes. Uh, they'll go, how many people you have listening? And I'll go, uh, this many? Oh, that's a lot more zeros than we got. <laughs> <laughs> this is our big break. <laughs> uh, I think it's a great idea. So anyway, you know the deal. Go to Fireside, Instagram, YouTube, all that shit. Okay, here's how it goes. What else do you have for me? That's it. That's it, I Brian. love you, Hoadley. I love you, Brian. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. Until next time, we must say... Bye! The Commercial Break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at youtube.com slash the commercial break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at the commercial break on Instagram. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Hoadley, with additional content provided by Tina Connell.